And if you come around the man of God, Pastor Chris, he is working like the rapture, you know, will take place tomorrow. The reason is cover as much as you can. When it happens, it happens. Greetings to you, my dearest family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth with Brother Joshua. And I would still like to state this in this particular video, okay? For those of you who like coming to come and, you know, um, I call it um, corrupting the comment section because at the end of the day, many people don't um, comment what bless them in the video anymore. They now tend to uh, start talking about the fact that I'm talking too much in the video. And I've said this in my previous video and I'll say it again, okay? Um, this thing that I'm doing, I've explained severally that I do it for a reason, you see. So it's, it's, I'm not doing it because I feel like doing it, okay? I can as well just post the video for you. But I'm doing it because I want to follow the policies that YouTube, you know, lay down for those who want to post in it, okay? So, and I say, if you feel my video, I'm talking too long, just kindly skip to where uh, maybe the video you want to watch, okay? Alright? But for those who have been listening to me, they have been paying attention and I've been seeing that. So, don't come and corrupt the comment section and others will not start, you know, not, uh, refuse to share what bless them in the video. Kindly watch this, I'll be right back. Yeah, the man of God told us that this year will be the last opportunity the last chance chance for many because the lord has been calling in other words their last chance to come into the kingdom and believe and if you come around the man of god pastor chris he is working like the rapture you know will take place tomorrow and that's the reason is cover as much as you can when it happens it happens we've gained so much that should be very strong in your mind you don't know who has the last chance you don't know when i meet people that i i don't know i mean sometimes i just see the crowd passing through the airport you see this teeming crowd some of them just going and and they behave in such a simple way you know did you see them do these ones know god Do they know God? And I try to talk to some of them. And they don't want to listen. It touches my heart. Say, no, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't do religion. Say, who's talking about religion here? I'm giving them rhapsody and they reject it. Say, please, I don't want. I say, you don't know what's inside. Someone say, I'm not interested. Then the lady say, a lady said, um, you believe, what did he say? You, you believe you believe in uh, the higher power. So what do you mean higher power? You are not saying God. Believe in the higher power. Then say you believe in science. I say which science? Say you believe in things. I say you might as well believe in bicycle. There was a bicycle there. And all her colleagues were looking at me. I got their attention. She said, I believe in this witch science. She thought she had an argument. I said, Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. is the one whom he sent. So, don't avoid God. Don't say supreme being power. Or you will be misled to believe in anything someday. You just say you believe in science. What science? As a God made man in man has tried to use science to deceive many and any science that does not believe in god is pseudoscience it is no science at all i got their attention at the end of the day i warned some of them because they could see the futility of you know some people want to prove they know something she knew nothing why am i saying this he was moved with compassion they were scattered as sheep without shepherd what happens to you when you see people? It doesn't matter what they wear, what they drive. It doesn't matter how they look. Sometimes some are just putting up a facade. Some of them are, they are bound with fear. They can't sleep at night. They can't sleep at night. Some of them are on drugs. 
bound by different kinds of habits. Not many of them have peace because the Prince of Peace does not live in them. He saw them scattered as sheep without shepherd. He had compassion on them. Then he said the next verse, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray ye the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. You just heard the man of God in the promo. He said, the harvest is plenteous. The laborers are plenteous. Because when he said, pray, they've been praying ever since. And God has been answering. And laborers have been thrust forth into the harvest field. The thing is, how many laborers are doing the work? You are a laborer. You are an answer to prayer. You are. Say that everyone. I'm an answer to prayer. Oh, I mean that just distinguishes you if you're an answer to prayer. Imagine you being an answer to prayer. I like to be an answer to prayer. Someone's praying somewhere and God sends me. Amazing. We traveled one time and we we had an we're living in an Airbnb and there was a, a lady who runs uh, a real estate firm and that was part of it so she was living in a part of the building and we were talking to her a Muslim from Iran and I warned her she kept saying she was a Muslim, but she believed in Jesus. I gave her raps when she was reading. I invited her. She came for the healing school. Spoke to her not long ago. She said, I'll never forget when you lived in my house. He said, I felt that God put angels on top of my house. He said, that has been the best part of my life. And since then, my life has changed. He said, how I long to see you again. He said, I just knew that angels were living in my house. It was an answer. Pray the Lord of the harvest. There is a harvest. There is a harvest. It's ready. When you see the people, when you see souls, it doesn't matter what they profess, what they say they believe. Everyone that's not born again is a part of the harvest. And the man of God said to us, as we harvest the souls, Set up cells everywhere. Win souls everywhere. Win souls in the market and the marketplaces of life. Remember where you work is a chariot that is given to you to reach out to those in that organization. You've joined yourself to that chariot. You're not there for just to practice medicine but God's voice. God's got you there. He's got a voice. We just read from the Rapture of Realities. And the, and the message of the week has been, you're the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Because many are in darkness. You're the light of the world. You're a city set upon a hill. And those in darkness have to come to your light. He said, the Gentiles, they will come to the they will come to your light. Kings will come to the brightness of your rising. Hallelujah. They will come to the brightness of your rising. Pray the Lord of the harvest. It's harvest time. Tell somebody it's harvest time. So when we, when we come up with campaigns like 10,000 outreaches, like many of you have been winning souls, congratulations and God bless you. Everybody should jump in on it. Everybody person a soul winner every single person is a soul winner this is what our life is all about
winning souls. There is a joy you cannot experience until you are a harvester. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter number 10 from verse 1. Luke chapter 10 from verse 1. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Verse 2. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest field. He said it again. You see? He repeated it here. He was talking to the 70. And he sent them. And they went. Immediately. Go to verse 17 of this same chapter. Verse number 70, 17. Just scroll to verse 17. Um, no, not. This is Luke chapter 1. I said chapter 10. <laughs> and the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, now they returned from what? From winning souls, from the harvest. He sent them. Lord, even the demons are subject unto us through your name. Hallelujah. As they were winning souls, they were casting out devils. They came back now with excitement and good news and testimonies. Blessed be God forevermore. Yes. The harvest is plenteous. The harvest is plenteous. You see, it's multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Multitudes. Why is it called the valley of decision? They need to take a decision. For life or death. For light or darkness. Salvation or condemnation. Going into all the world and preaching the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. Listen. Live your life with joy. Live in health. Live in prosperity. Do your business. But your Christianity is not complete until you are a soul winner. It's not just for some people. Stop serving God, you know, as if life is a struggle. As far as many are concerned, it's what God will do for me, what God will do for me, what God will do for me. Is God a charm that you use? Like those who pray through the name of Jesus, he's not a medium. You don't pray through the name of Jesus. And some are not even conscious of it. Every time I want to eat, I pray. Father, bless this food for Christ's sake. What kind of OP prayer is that? For Christ's sake? It's not Christ that is going to eat the food. You say, if you bless it for Christ, you bless it for your sake. Now, I just said that not many people are conscious of it. Bless this food for Christ's sake. Then some just say, plus God minus devil. Then you, know, you just laughed. But it's ro spiritual rubbish. It's rubbish. Because it means nothing. It shows you that that person talking doesn't know God. Praise the Lord. All right, my dearest family. Um, you know, esteemed Reverend Tom equally shared something about, um, you know, what some of us must do. You know, Pastor Chris saw into the future and started setting up some platforms for those you know those who are in christ and who really know well all, every other person should equally listen to this because you need to also get acquainted to what he's going to be saying today so watch this other part and i'll be right back the healing streams the last one for the end for, for this year which is in october is coming Towards the end of the month, we're looking forward to it with such enthusiasm. Yesterday, there was a health conference. And then last Sunday, we had the Reach Out World Nigeria. 
and today is mega redemption say mega okay now we're looking forward to the wrapathon which begins on wednesday from wednesday through to sunday and then you just had information about the sps you know so the, if you're there wondering why are all the sp after the wrapathon and you're saying all those things just pay attention and listen and follow you know sometimes there are those who never ever tune in on time god wants something to happen with you and through you but many, many times that happens say what happened there are those who always ask what happened there are those who make things happen there are those who read what happened when the apostles were drunk in the spirit and all the disciples that received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost they were speaking in tongues some said they were drunk then others asked what meaneth this you always have to choose what which part of the I don't want to use the word drama, but action that you want to play. What meaning this? Because they didn't understand. Others based on assumption. And that's exactly how it is in life. There are people whose conclusions are based on assumption. They just conclude, and many times the assumption, that's what leads to telling of lies. It's an assumption. And they never cross-check facts. Then there are those who are questioning. They want to know what meaning this. But there are those who were inside. Peter said, this is that which was spoken by the prophet. Well, he knew the fulfillment of prophecy had come. And they were in it and experiencing it. And give an explanation. So which part of the action do you want to take? So don't ever say, do you understand it? Which one is SP again? Is it, is it is cryptocurrency? It's not cryptocurrency. It's our currency. It is a security system. The man of God has seen and looked ahead. So when it comes bang and the, and the dollar just crashes and the whole world is in pandemonium, you will be secured. It's as simple as that. So, cash in on time. You know, I'd like to say this. We've been trying to tell some people, use kings that. Um, it's, I don't know my own. We'll be turning around and turning around. It doesn't work in iOS and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. You're saying that. But the many other things that when they were beginning even though king's chat is no longer kind of beginning you were patient with them you had nobody to question king's chat does a whole lot it's a combination of many many things if you use king's chat you don't need to use emails you can put your attachment you can do video you can do conferencing everything WhatsApp is part of the deep state that will soon begin to censor when you say Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Hate speech. They tell you it's hate speech. It's all part of the deep state. So why do you want to empower them against your faith? I know that many of you use it for many things. You say yes. I come from a family where they have a they have a they have a family page. My beautiful baby sister is here. She's a she's a mother herself. I call her baby sister sometimes. <laughs> um, she doesn't look like a baby, but it's my baby sister. They have a, a family WhatsApp. So I said I've never. Since King's Church started, I delete WhatsApp from all the devices. I disable them. 
And I said, if you want to talk to me, download King's Chat. So everybody is on King's Chat. We communicate on King's Chat. That is it. Any governor, or president, whoever wants to talk to the man of God, Pastor Creed, they are told to download King's Chat. Download it, talk to him. So which one is yours? King's Chat is a place where kings talk. All right, my dearest family, there you have it with the man of God, a person of uh, the highly esteemed Reverend Tom. So you've also heard the warning and also the, you know, charge that have, um, you know, he gave you. You know, I, I, I love listening to esteemed Reverend Tom, especially when it comes to soul winning. See, you know, as, as Christians, you know, this is part of uh, what we have to do, you know, also letting others know and winning them um, into the kingdom. And I do that a lot. See, it's not just about talking it or saying it. I do it a lot. I'm a soul winner. See, so I encourage you to take this seriously. Take this warning because the rapture is close and also do the work. You no, know, there are some Christians that are born again, but they don't get to, um, you know, invite or get anybody born again. That's wrong. See, get involved and do the work. See, it's very important. One day we'll check out of here. Thank you so much guys for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing my next video. For those of you coming new to my channel, hit the subscribe button like today's video guys. See my next video. Bye.